Now, and Liberal frontbencher, the Shadow Minister for Disability, Senator Mitch Fifield, joins me. Senator Fifield, thanks for your time. I know we're talking about budget uh, constraints a lot this morning. Every Australian counts that campaign has been concerned that there might be some slippage in terms of the NDIS. Can you give a guarantee this morning that there wouldn't be under a coalition, that there wouldn't be a slippage in terms of delivering that? Well, Kieran, uh, the Coalition has supported every milestone along the road to the NDIS. We supported the work of the Productivity Commission. Uh, we support the five launch sites. Uh, we support the agreement that's been reached uh, with New South Wales and the other jurisdictions. Uh, and we supported the legislation that went through the Parliament. So uh, we are looking for ways to make this happen. Uh, that's been our approach all the way through and it will continue to be so. Have you got a sense from the, the from that uh group from that lobby group, um, the, the every, every Australian counts that they are worried that there might be some, some movement in the timeline for the NDIS given how tight the budget is? Well, look, all of my discussions with the Every Australian Counts uh, uh, campaign uh, have been positive. Uh, they have been extremely pleased with the cross-party support uh, that there has been for the NDIS. Uh, so uh, they're positive, uh, they're heartened, uh, but uh, understandably uh, they want to keep the uh, NDIS on the public policy agenda, uh, as do I. Uh, the NDIS is one of those things that, uh, that just has to happen, Kieran. Yeah, well, you worked very closely with the, the former Treasurer, Peter Costello, over many years. You've seen the Grattan Institute warning this morning. Do governments of all persuasions need to rethink their spending and, and, and put some of the more difficult things on the table, not just trimming middle class welfare? Well, Kieran, I think it's important to, to not accept this uh, uh, supposition that uh, whoever was in office today uh, would be uh, deeply in debt. Uh, the reason why uh, this government uh, is in debt and has been borrowing heavily is for the simple reason uh, that uh, they have been spending more money than they have been bringing in, in revenue. Now, it is not as a result, as Wayne Swan would have us believe, uh, as a result of revenue write-downs. Uh, this government is bringing in $70 billion a year more in revenue uh, than in the last year of the Howard government, but the problem is they're spending $100 billion a year more than in the last year of the Howard government. Wayne Swan wants us to think that he's just a, a hapless victim of circumstances beyond his control, uh, but the reason we are in deficit and deeply in deficit, and the reason this government is borrowing is because of policy decisions by this government. I heard um, Kate um, say before that um, uh, they have a policy of offsetting new spending um, with, uh, with savings. That is just not true. Uh, the government did not identify savings to cover the school halls program. The government did not identify savings uh, to cover the pink bats fiasco. And I can point to any number of other policy decisions that the government did not All identify right. savings. Well, those, those two were obviously during the global financial crisis and the government did that as emergency stimulus. But let's, let's talk about the coalition focus now because you uh, in all likelihood will be on the Treasury benches post-September. Well, Joe Hockey is looking for savings. He tried to rein in the, the baby bonus but the Nationals wouldn't cop it. He's unable to get that through the shadow cabinet. So unless he's supported in that endeavour, the coalition's going to face similar problems. Well, Kieran, we will uh, identify uh, our savings uh, in the lead up to the next election. Uh, but some things have got to hurt, don't how they? We some savings fund... will have to hurt. Look, we, we, we will indicate how we will fund uh, the commitments that we make. Uh, but uh, as Tony Abbott has been very clear and Joe has been very clear, uh, we are not going to get into a bidding war uh, with uh, the Labor Party. Uh, we are going to be uh, responsible and we are going to be conservative uh, with our election commitments. But Kieran, you know, one of the best predictors of uh, future behaviour is, is past behaviour. Uh, we inherited a $96 billion uh, debt from the last Labor government and we paid that off. Now, uh, paying off uh, Labor debt is not a theoretical exercise for me, Kieran. Uh, you know, I worked for Peter Costello for eight years. I know how hard it is to prioritise. I know how hard it is uh, to make uh, difficult decisions, but you have to do it. We did it last time we are in government and we will do it again. Senator Mitch Fifield, appreciate your time this morning. Thanks for that. Thanks, Kieran.